Hey guys, it's Elena, and today I'm going to be doing an oily skin slash face makeup and cleansing routine. Basically, I'll be showing you what I do with my makeup to prevent and control oiliness during the day and what I do at the end of the night to clean my face and make sure there's no excess oil. And I've had an oily face ever since I can remember, so if you can relate to this, or if you just like to keep your face matte, continue with this video and yeah also thank you so much for 300 subscribers it actually means a lot and i know it's not even that high of an amount but it's a high amount for me so thank you guys so this is going to be my makeup routine for oily skin and yeah i know it's really zoomed in and my face is red in a lot of places just ignore that one thing i have to say is when i touch my face it gets really irritated and like red really fast so sorry if my face looks like a tomato in this video but i can't help it first i'm going to be starting out with cetaphil lotion and the lotion you use doesn't matter that much but i would recommend non-comedogenic my dermatologist told me that it's good for oily skin or skin that's prone to breakouts. I just take it on my finger and put it on my face because even if you do have oily skin, it's still important to moisturize. Sorry, I'm looking into the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. So yeah, there's the lotion. You can obviously tell my face is really red. Just ignore that. So the next thing I do is primer. And primer is really important, especially if you have oily skin. So your makeup stays on throughout the day. And I like to use Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, but I have the clear one right now, but I actually really prefer the green one, but the last time I went to the store, they didn't have it, so I just bought the clear one. But since I have this, this will have to do. And I just take like a little pea-sized amount, I don't know if you can see that, and I just rub it all over my face. And like I said, the green one, is a lot better and I do prefer that one but this is what I have for right now so the next thing I do is concealer and so I just use this covergirl ready set gorgeous concealer then I just blend it in and I do all this with my finger but also you have to remember to wash your hands because your fingers can actually be like one of the most oily parts of your body and you don't want to put more oil on your skin if you already have oily skin to begin with so yeah make sure to wash your hands before but otherwise it's totally fine to use your fingers and then I'm just going to go in a mirror to blend this in because it'll be a little bit easier my final step for my face is to use this Fair Minerals Mineral Veil and it comes in original SPF and tinted and hydrating so you can choose based on your skin so it's a loose powder so i just like to open it up and tap it in here and i take this brush from bare minerals it's called flawless face but it's just like a powder brush i just dip it in there like that and then i go around my face in motions like this One thing I also want to mention is you should clean your brushes often, especially if you do have oily skin because this can like build up oils and then putting excess oil on your face is not good. So as you can see, after I blended it all out, my face is pretty even. There are some spots that are red, but it's okay. It's just because I was like touching my face. It'll go down in like a few minutes. I honestly like swear by this powder it keeps my face dry all day like no lie it's so good i honestly recommend it please try it so yeah that was it for my face next i will show you what i do at the end of the night after i come home and take my makeup off so after my day is over and i no longer have use for makeup on my face first thing i like to do is take it off with my Neutrogena cleansing wipes. These makeup wipes, I've been using them for so long and they're just so good with taking makeup off, even waterproof makeup. So yeah, uh, after I do that, I like to cleanse my face with the Lush Let The Good Times Roll Face Cleanser. And I really like this because it makes my face really soft, but at the same time, it helps to strip all unnecessary oils and it leaves my face feeling nice and matte. When I'm done with that, I just rinse it off with my hands. And after that, I like to put on the Lush Lotion. 
I'm not sure how you pronounce this exactly, but it's Enzymion. Enzymion? <laughs> I don't really know. If you know, let me know. And it's really good because, like my face cleanser, it also helps to keep your face really nice and matte. Even though it is a lotion and it moisturizes, it helps to control oils. So yeah, the next thing I like to do is, since I do have an oily face, it can cause breakouts or acne. So I like to use varying acne medicines. But right now I am using the proactive face mask. So that's it for my night routine. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave me a comment below. Um, bye.